I just realized that I completely forgot to film an intro for this video because I was so emotional and thrown by the experience that I had had. So just so you know, my name's Jenny and I work with starseed and lightworkers all over the world to help them heal their energies, to reconnect with their spirit teams, which is what this video is about and to activate their earthly mission. And on to today's video. I don't even know where to start. Okay. So I had an experience this afternoon and I just feel like it's really important to share stuff like this because not everybody talks about it and for fear of, you know, whatever, being crazy or weird or whatever it is. But regardless, it's happening, so I might as well talk about it. That's not like it's, I can hide it or even want to. It's just so hard to put into words, I'm not even sure where to start. So I had an experience that was like a visitation and I've had something like this happen in the past a couple of times actually, but I think that this was the most like sudden and powerful that I've ever had. And I do think that it's a, not side effect, that's not the right word. It's a, it's happening because I've been working so much on raising my vibration and getting myself to a place <coughs> where I can communicate more clearly with my team. And that is definitely something that I've been looking for and it's definitely a goal of mine. But sometimes when it happens, it's really shocking. So I was just, where do I begin? I was watching some videos earlier today, some spiritual and metaphysical stuff and doing a bit of a meditation, nothing too intense and decided that I was gonna do some house cleaning um, and was vacuuming. So I was vacuuming up the stairs and in my hallway and all of a sudden I just felt completely overcome with emotion like it's like something you can just kind of feel it coming down over you like a wave where you're just completely enveloped in this like tingling warmth and i just started like sobbing but not out of sadness necessarily it was more like a release of gratitude i mean that's the only word that i can think to describe it it was like this unbelievable, sorry, it's making me emotional now, but it's like this unbelievable sense of gratitude just washed over me. And so I was like sobbing with these like heaving sobs of gratitude. And that went on for a little while. And then it kind of just subsided. And I had a, a moment to kind of like catch my breath and look around and I was sort of sitting in the hallway at this point, vacuum still running. And during the, during the crying, it was like I was the one crying, but also the observer of it. Somewhere in my consciousness, I had the knowingness that this is something, this is an experience. This is, this is an ascension experience. And very curious about what was happening as well as being the person it was happening to who was completely overcome by this huge wave of emotions and when the crying let up it went on for I don't know maybe five minutes which felt like a long time to cry that hard and then it kind of just stopped and everything was so still like eerily still and then I was like completely overcome with a wave of hysterical laughter, 
like hysterical laughter. And the observer part of me, like watching me now having fits of like laughter, cry laughing, so still crying, but like laughing so hard. And the observer part of my consciousness was like, knew that just as I knew the crying was gratitude, now knew that the laughter was at the ridiculousness of our worries and our fears. When if we could just know how powerful we really are and, you know, kind of just stopping in that moment and looking at myself holding this ridiculous vacuum and thinking about how I was stressed about cleaning a house or stressed about just menial everyday things or having enough time to get everything done that I wanted to get done before the weekend was over. And it was just all so funny in that moment because I was embodying my higher self and looking at this aspect of me in this human body playing this role of this human woman and just being like, if you, you, if you only knew how amazingly precious and strong and powerful you were, you would literally laugh. And there's this quote that says, you know, when you see a piece or a taste of enlightenment, that the only thing left to do is to have a good laugh. And that's exactly how it felt, like just ridiculous and yet so emotional at the same time and then i felt this presence join me and it was like a celestial being and through the haze of my tears i could see this being joining me and it was my higher self and i've talked to her before and had meditations or visions of her before but nothing so real where she's really just right there with me. And she just kept chanting over and over what she's told me. I am Hoopna, golden winged being from the grand central sun, emissary of light, creator of love, bearer of truths. I am Hoopna, golden winged being from the grand central sun, emissary of light, creator of love, bearer of truths. And again, she says it, and again, she says it, and again, she says it. And I was just in awe of this golden being who is working in the grand central sun as a part of the galactic council, other councils as well, but mainly that one and she sent to me like telepathically not with words that i am just as worthy i am her she is me and we are both equally worthy in our missions and we need to start viewing ourselves sorry we need to start viewing ourselves as these in this divine way through the eyes of our divine selves because we are no different just as we are on a mission to be human and to help the situation from down in the trenches you know down here on earth just as worthy as this golden being with these beautiful wings who is working on the other side in, in another dimension to help the situation from the outside as I help it from the inside. And today we met together because I raised myself up enough and she likely brought herself down enough to make that connection. And it was, there are no words. So, And she let me know that she can work through me to bring into this space, this earth, this dimension, you know, third to fifth dimensions, which we are always bouncing back and forth between because we all still have moments where we fall back 
into self-doubt and then other moments where we're living like in the fifth dimension and it feels so amazing and like we're on our purpose and we're in our highest vibrations and here she is like you know nine to eleven dimensions somewhere in there and you know finding her way to me and me finding my way to her and the love was just so huge just like this all-encompassing love that we had for each other and equal admiration and respect and you know she's wanting to work with me to bring the transmissions of the grand central sun here through me and i'm to work with her in her galactic council meetings to bring the situation on earth through her and let them see and feel and understand what it is because they are not able to come through the energetic grids into this experience with us they are not a part of the earth simulation and that's why we have infiltrated through being actually born here into physical bodies is the only way due to other forces which i don't want to get into because i want to focus on the light and that's where we should be putting our focus is on the light and the love and growing that and just know that we are reaching those higher dimensions when we are feeling that synchronicity of being in our mission and in our purpose we are reaching the seventh eighth ninth ten up to eleventh dimensions and they are cheering us on they are in awe of us they are looking at us with eyes of reverence and we only ever see it the other way like we're these lowly beings or these lowly humans are so caught up in this well yeah but how brave is that how courageous are we how difficult is this but just know that everything that you're doing everything that we're doing to raise our vibrations personally is then affecting the planetary grids and raising them there's going to be a tipping point where there's enough of us and it just washes over the planet and no matter who doesn't want that to happen it's happening and i am so like in awe of this experience and so determined to continue on my path and more than happy to have her want to have hoopna want to join me and and bring through transmissions from the grand central sun like absolutely and excited to go into my meditations and you know get into that trance state to also work with her on her end and send that information through that she's needing and to be working together so far apart yet for the same fucking person it's crazy it's crazy and i'm filled with like so much gra gratitude and love for all of you starseed souls spread all around the world doing your duties doing your mission you are so amazing i encourage you to reach out to your higher self and to feel their love and their presence in your life allow these experiences into your life by asking for them by talking to your higher self by releasing your old fears releasing your old doubts You've got to release the old stuff to make room for this. And it's so worth it. I know releasing and working through difficult emotions and experiences and blockages isn't always fun. But it's so worth it. Because on the other side of that is all this space inside of you for this amazing love and light and these celestial visitations and seeing ourselves through their eyes and truly embodying becoming our higher selves that's what it's all about isn't that what we're, what we're all doing working to become our best selves working to 
become the best versions of ourselves that we can be, well, guess what? That's your higher self. That's all it is. That's what that's what it is. And it's so it's so we are so capable. It is so doable. It's it's right there. They're right there. So let them through. And it's a trip. Fuck. It was so like I was so hot when it happened. I don't know if anyone else has had these experiences. Have you gone from like bawling, bawling your eyes out, sobbing, to hysterical laughter? Because I've definitely heard of this and read of this before. It's happened to me a couple of times now. And it always seems to be spaced out, these experiences, by at the, the beginning it happened and then it was like, two years before it happened again and then it was a year and then it was six months and now it's happening like every couple of months maybe every three four months and afterwards i always feel like i've reached a new level it's like an intense releasing and that celestial being like joining you in that moment their energy affects us so much and they are vibrating at such a high 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 rate in these high dimensions and just coming near us, I mean, my heart was like palpitating so fast. I was sweating. I was clearly an emotional wreck. I mean, just from them joining us in a moment, that's what it causes. So it shows me that they, I've got a lot more raising of my own vibration to do so that I can have these experiences more often without it just kicking me in the pants. But it's totally to be expected too. I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's this, it's like this combination of an alien and an angel. I just can't describe it. It was just unbelievable. Just, a, that's all I, that's why I keep saying celestial being, because what else, what other word? I don't know. Beautiful golden warrior goddess with these giant golden wings and i could see her like kind of just her outline and her silhouette and then when i kind of calmed down then she was able to send me through some transmissions and some words and some encouragement and fuck and when she turned to look at me her eyes were liquid gold like just a golden being just beautiful. So, don't really know how to wrap this up because it's kind of been all over the place, but I, I felt like it was really important to just be authentic with this and just let you know what it's, what it looks like and what it feels like and what it's like to have these experiences which we are all, all capable of having and more. I mean, this is just like scratching the surface of my mission and I can't wait to work with Hoopna myself. God, that's everything. So, love you and always remember to listen to your heart and the quiet voice within. You are so much more than the body you are in. <laughs>